Hi you guys, happy Thursday. I'm not so sure if you all can see, but Milkshake is here with me today filming this video for you guys. So that is so exciting. Um, I'm so excited to be making this video because I am reviewing my favorite, favorite, all time, 100% favorite candle from Bath & Body Works today. Also, let me just adjust the uh, camera because I feel like I'm looking like so high up. I think I put it too high. So I'll be right back. Okay, this is so much better, y'all. I'm so sorry about that. Um, I hope the lighting is okay because uh, I like filming in this room because there's so much natural light, but then I'm like, oh, maybe there's too much natural light right now. I don't know. I never know about the lighting. I'm still learning, so yes. Okay, let's get in to the candle review because I cannot wait. Today, I am reviewing the candle Champagne Toast. They came out with this new packaging for the spring 2019. It looks absolutely cute as a button. Mm. I love this candle. I love this packaging. It's so cute. So let me first tell you a little bit of my story about Champagne Toast. How I came to know about Champagne Toast. So this winter I did a holiday haul. I'll link the video up in the corner if you're interested and if you enjoy watching haul videos um, and if you just can't get over Christmas and winter um, then that's a great haul of stuff that I got for winter and Christmas. Um, and one of the things that I went out and got is the Champagne Toast candle. I also got a Tis the Season candle that I haven't burnt yet so I can't tell you about that scent. But the Champagne Toast scent that I smelled, it smelled so good. Um, and I bought it and it was in the container with a snowflake design at the top with a silver lid. Um, and the packaging on it, the front looked like this, like Christmas time. And it was actually the Bath & Body Works candle. It didn't say White Barn on it at all. It just said Bath & Body Works Champagne Toast Scented Candle made with essential oils. It didn't say White Barn on it. Then I went out again because I loved the scent so much. Um, oh, by the way, in this bag is just the extra wax because I burn it in my wax melter so as not to waste any wax. So that is why it has all that like uh, just unevenly chopped, crushed up wax. Then I went out and bought this one, which is the Champagne Toast, but it is actually White Barn packaging. So a White Barn lid, it says White Barn on the front, White Barn Champagne Toast scented candle. And um, this one still smells the same as the other Champagne Toast that says Bath & Body Works on it. Don't get me wrong about that. It still has the same lovely fragrance. However, the throw on the White Barn Champagne Toast, in my opinion, is not as good as in the Bath & Body Works label. So if it has a White Barn label, in my opinion, it's not as strong as if it has a Bath & Body Works label, but it is still indeed the same scent. So this one I've burnt a couple of times. Um, at first I was burning it downstairs, but I started burning it upstairs in my bedroom just because the throw is not that good for downstairs. On this one, the throw downstairs was amazing. My family would walk in the house, they would be able to smell it and I would be burning it in the other room. They absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. It's just this very sweet, berry-like scent, fragrance. Um, the actual fragrance notes on it are bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and juicy tangerine. So in this, I get the berries, um, a hint of tangerine. I don't really smell that much citrus. And I'm not sure if I smell champagne or not, but it does just smell good and it smells like the holidays and it smells like spring and it smells like just any time you can burn it and um, just smells 
so good in my opinion this is my number one favorite like all-time scent that I hope that they never get rid of but I felt the same way about Tahiti Island Dream and now Tahiti Island Dream is a retired fragrance so I'm actually not sure if they ever had Tahiti Island Dream in candles or not but if they did oh my gosh I'm so sorry I missed that okay so milkshake is ready for us to get on to the review about this champagne toast so I actually have not burnt this champagne toast yet it is completely new completely new wicks um it has the beautiful black lid the cute as a button packaging um and it has the same exact fragrance notes as the other one except for this new champagne toast has the fragrance note sweet orange and effervescent effervescent champagne and the old one had bubbly champagne and juicy tangerine so this one had tangerine the white barn the old one this one has orange so a different a little bit of a different citrus scent but again in the new one it smells a little bit more citrusy than in the old uh, one from December I guess <coughs> I'm not sure if the White Barn one just has a different fragrance notes than the Bath and Body Works one. Um, they're both sold at Bath and Body Works, but just if you get a Champagne Toast from Bath and Body Works and you love the strong throw of Bath and Body Works candles, please do yourself a favor and get the Bath and Body Works labeling, not the White Barn labeling, okay, because I learned my lesson about the white barn labeling. So, um, this scent, it just smells really fruity. Like, um, it smells fruity and, but not like fruity fruity. I don't know how to describe it. It just smells like the fragrance notes without the champagne. I don't smell the champagne in there. I don't really know what plain champagne tastes like. That's not like flavored. So I don't know. And so let me talk about the burn on this one. The burn on this one was perfect. Um, it did have mushrooming, of course, because they always mushroom at the top. Um, I'm not so sure if you can see how there's like kind of a black spot in there. Like uh, there was a little bit of sooting. And towards the bottom, it did smell, it did start to smell a little bit like smoke. Um, or smoky but you know that happens with almost all Bath and Body Works candles the only one so far that I've burned that I haven't had that problem with is the hot fudge Sunday one that one smelled so good the whole way through this one the white barn one that I got in December it is obviously having a very clean burn just all the way down maybe I've burnt it about like one not even one fourth of the way i've only burnt a little bit of it um there's just this little extra stuff right there on that corner i'm not so sure if you can see but it could have been a human error that i just didn't leave it burning for long enough time to pull out so um usually that's generally very easy to fix with bath and body works candles because then uh, the part that is not burnt as much as the other parts kind of just corrects itself and burns with all the rest of it so that's something good about these candles and I'm so excited to burn this Bath and Body Works one that they just came out with this spring for the champagne toast because I will be burning this one downstairs because we'll actually be able to smell it since it's the Bath and Body Works packaging I'm so excited Milkshake is so excited. Look at him. He is so excited. He's actually not excited. He just is excited that I'm here giving him attention. He just is trying to sleep. <laughs> um, so anyways, yes, I'm so sorry if this was not <sighs> super de duper informative, but it's more just my opinion about the scent and what I think of it compared to the other candles. Um, because I'm really biased towards this scent because this scent can just kind of do no wrong in my eyes. It smells so good 
and this candle can just never do anything wrong in my opinion because it just is so perfect so um my opinion about this champagne toast is a little bit biased but i hope that you did enjoy this candle review um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a spectacular day i'll see you again tomorrow while i'll be reviewing the key lime pie candle and i'm so excited to review that one and yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow and make sure that you stay positive till then.